Our intuition has been known by so many names, such as the gut feeling, instinct, whisper of the soul, inner wisdom, our higher self, and many more. But what is intuition, and how do we tell the difference between our intuition and our fears and anxieties? We're going to attempt to find some answers to these questions today as we explore the topic of our third eye chakra and the herbs and the crystals which may be beneficial for it. Hello beloved listeners, this is Melanie and you are listening to episode 10 of Harmonious where we explore the synergy of crystals and herbs. Today we will be exploring the herb mugwort and the crystal lapis lazuli and how these beautiful beings can benefit our third eye chakra and our overall wellness. But before we move on, I need to mention that everything you learn in this podcast is for educational purposes only. Please do not start, discontinue, or change any treatment or medication based on what you learn in this podcast. It is essential that you consult a medical doctor before initiating or discontinuing or changing any medications or treatments for your physical, mental, and emotional health. And please make sure that you're not allergic to any of the herbs that you wish to experiment with. We are coming close to finishing our chakra series episodes. The third eye chakra is before our crown chakra, which is going to be the last chakra that we will be exploring in our series. So if you haven't listened to the chakra series, make sure that you give them a listen and I hope you enjoy the episodes. So our third eye chakra, also known as the mind's eye or the inner eye, is located above and in between our eyebrows. So I've been trying to pronounce the Sanskrit names for the chakras, which I'm sure that I've been butchering the names. However, I enjoy pronouncing the Sanskrit names and I pray that everyone would forgive my mispronunciations. So here I will attempt to pronounce the Sanskrit name for the third eye chakra, which is known as the Agnya Chakra. The third eye refers to the gate that leads to the higher consciousness. In spirituality, an open and active third eye chakra symbolizes enlightenment. The third eye chakra, just like all the other chakras in our energetic body, is there to serve as a purpose and it needs to be balanced. Our chakras work as a system, as well as individually, to help us be a whole human being, functioning physically, emotionally, and spiritually for our highest good. Our third eye chakra has a great influence on our intuition. The definition of intuition is a direct perception of truth or a fact independent of any reasoning process. It is an immediate apprehension. Intuition is a gut feeling, an instinct, if you will, an inner knowing that something is right or wrong. It can be sometimes difficult to tell the difference between our fears, our anxieties, and our intuition. With practice, we can learn how to tell this difference. Journaling is a great way to help us document our thoughts and feelings and to be able to find patterns of how our mind works and what is going on in our environment. So when we experience fears and anxieties, our mind is usually in the future, trying to warn us about unwanted outcomes. Or we think back about an event that happened in the past, which we didn't really enjoy. And now our survival instincts are working hard to prevent us from repeating mistakes. Our intuition, on the other hand, is usually in the present moment. 
it comes suddenly out of nowhere and it feels like a hunch that something isn't right in this moment or gives us an insight about a person such as a sudden feeling that we trust a person or we perceive someone as kind or the opposite um a feeling that we need to move away from a person or a situation these feelings and insights are usually based on no previous knowledge about a person or a situation no logical processing happens in the mind when the intuition kicks in so how does the third eye chakra play a role in our intuition well the third eye chakra is the second of our three spiritual chakras The throat chakra and the crown chakra are the other two spiritual chakras. The third eye chakra is the source of our spiritual insight and the gateway to our higher consciousness. The third eye chakra's energetic color is indigo, and it is deeply connected to our pineal gland, which produces the hormone melatonin and modulates our sleep and awake patterns. A balanced third eye chakra provides us with awareness and clarity of thought. It provides confidence and trust in our decisions. An overactive third eye chakra may lead to nightmares and disturbing visions or delusions. It may be difficult to ground ourselves in the physical world. An underactive third eye chakra may lead to having trouble trusting our intuition, being unable to make decisions, confusion, trouble with memory, and a tendency to repeat the same mistakes over and over again. An underactive or blocked third eye chakra may lead to lack of self-knowledge which can make it difficult to see our path in life. It can make it difficult to have empathy for others when we don't know our own self. There are many options to help us keep our third eye chakra balanced and healthy. Yoga exercises such as gentle neck rolls and the good old child's pose held for a minute while maintaining your normal breathing is said to help with balancing the third eye chakra. Essential oils such as rosemary, lavender, frankincense, and sandalwood help with balancing the third eye chakra while grounding our energies to the physical world preventing an overactive third eye chakra. Crystals such as lapis lazuli, moonstone, labradorite, fluorite, amethyst, clear quartz, and sodalite are great for balancing the third eye chakra. Now let's explore an herb that is so dear to my heart, the mugwort. Known by its scientific name, Artemisia vulgaris, mugwort has been used for its powers of strength, prophetic dreams, healing, protection, and astral projection. Mugwort is also known by its folk names Artemis herb, sailor's tobacco, Artemisia, and felon herb. Mugwort's energy is feminine. It is associated with the planet Venus and its element is earth and as its name suggests it is associated with the greek goddess artemis an infusion of mugwort was used to wash crystal balls and magic mirrors a pillow stuffed with mugwort was used to induce prophetic dreams and in china mugwort was hung over doors to prevent evil spirits from entering the house In botanical medicine, Artemisia vulgaris is famous for its bitter taste, and like other bitter tasting herbs, it is good support for the digestive system. It is important to notice that mugwort is 
contraindicated with pregnancy and lactation, therefore should be avoided by pregnant and lactating ladies. Mugwort is also categorized as a hematostatic herb, which means that it is used for regulating blood. Therefore, the organs that are directly affected by mugwort are the spleen, liver, and the kidneys. As a Native American practice, dried mugwort leaves were used like sage to burn and to purify the spiritual and the physical environment. Now let's talk about the mesmerizing lapis lazuli. This beautiful crystal has a deep indigo color and glittering gold veins. It helps open and activate the third eye chakra and also helps balance the throat chakra. Lapis lazuli is a stone of spiritual enlightenment, helping us connect with the divine and achieving higher levels of consciousness. This crystal is also known to be an effective tool in healing physical and mental ailments as well as promoting harmony and balance in one's life. Its calming energy can help reduce stress and anxiety, while also providing clarity of thought. It is said to help with inner truth, amplifying thoughts, and alleviating migraines, vertigo, and insomnia. It has been used for centuries in various cultures as a healing stone. The power of lapis lazuli lies in its ability to open one's mind and heart to receive the messages from the universe. It helps one to connect with their inner truth and find clarity in life. Its thought-amplifying properties can help people focus on their goals and manifest them into reality. Alright, so now that we have talked a little bit about our intuition, our third eye chakra, and the herb mugwort and the crystal lapis lazuli, it is time to combine their benefits into daily practices to help with our spiritual and physical well-being. So one of my favorite ways is to make mugwort and lapis lazuli infused massage oil. To do so, you will need olive oil, dried mugwort, and a lapis lazuli crystal. Use a clean jar and add as much dried mugwort to fill the jar. Now add olive oil to the mugwort, occasionally pressing in the dried mugwort gently using a spoon. Dried mugwort has a fluffy texture and you want to uh, have the olive oil go in between the dried herb, completely covering it. Add your lapis lazuli crystal to the jar and close the lid. It is always a good idea to label your jar. Write down what oil, herb and crystal is in the jar and also write down um, the date you are making it so it's easier to figure out how long it has been since you made this infusion oil when you pick it up in the future. Leave this oil and crystal infusion for a month. To use this oil, strain it, pour the oil in a clean jar, label it and massage painful joints and muscles with it. You can wash the lapis lazuli crystal with some soap and warm water and use it later. You can apply this oil um, under the soles of your feet right before sleep and place a lapis lazuli crystal under your pillow and this will help prevent nightmares and will help you have more pleasant dreams. Another favorite method of mine is to burn a small piece of dried mugwort over incense charcoal. I like to direct the smoke towards my third eye on my forehead. You may then hold a lapis lazuli crystal over your forehead or you can lie down and place the lapis lazuli on your forehead. And if you choose to do so, 
Repeat the following affirmations for balancing your third eye chakra. I trust my intuition, my inner wisdom. I know that I am an extension of the universe. I am a divine being experiencing a human life. I learn from my experiences and challenges in life. I see clearly and I think clearly. My mind is a safe and kind space for me to explore. My imagination is vast, expansive, and endless. I have a deep sense of knowing everything I need to know. I love and accept myself just the way I am. Alright, so next method is to grow mugwort in your garden or in a pot. It's a beautiful plant to grow in your garden and you may have access to it whenever you like. You can dry your own mugwort and you can connect with the energy of the living mugwort plant. Sit next to your mugwort plant and listen to its wisdom. Place an offering of a lapis lazuli crystal under the mugwort plant as an appreciation to its healing and wisdom. All right, I hope you enjoyed this episode and please share this podcast with your friends and family who may be interested in this topic. Feel free to email me at mindfulmanifest2 at gmail.com should you have any questions or comments or just to say hi. My name is Melanie and this was Harmonious where we explore the synergy of crystals and herbs. Until next time, stay happy and healthy.